This is the Eston family. This is Sally Eston. Recently she celebrated her seventh birthday. This is her mother. This is her father. Together, they were seen as the happiest family ever. The father was usually out for work. Whilst he was away, the mother took care of Sally. Sally loves her teddy bear. I love my teddy bear. After playing, it was time for bed. Oh, I can't sleep. So she went to ask her mom for a bedtime story, only to find out she was dead. <laughs> I'm home. Where is it? Sally? No, this can't be. <laughs> I will avenge you, my love. Over the next few weeks, Sally became sadder and sadder, whilst her dad started to distance himself from her. He prevented her from going out in public, so he hired a private tutor. I'm gonna teach him knowledge. Yay! What's two plus two? Five! Wrong. It's 22. Aww. Don't worry. You'll learn soon enough. Yay! Each day, her tutor would come to her house to teach the necessary subjects. Until one day, Sally asked a question. Why am I not allowed to go outside? Because the outside world is a dangerous place. Really? What's out there? Haven't you heard about the war? No. Seriously? Your father hasn't let you learn about the truants and culants. Well, my mom told me about them, but... My father told me that they're not true. It's just a story to scare me. No, my dear. It isn't just a story. It's real. I'll tell you the history. As long as you promise you won't tell your father. I promise. All right, then. Let me begin. Once there was a kingdom named Adiaphorus. It was ruled over by King Oswald. It was the most feared kingdom, as they had never lost a single war. But most people knew that it was the sword of Imperium that gave them such strength. That's when people started to get greedy for power. But every time they tried, they failed to obtain the sword. The task was dangerous, and killed many. But there came a day when a group of people made a plan to steal the sword. Their names were Leland Leviathan, Conley Trulon, Evan Andelian, Eston Davison, and Frederick Kulin. They named their group the Cleef Clan and set on their mission on the 18th of March. They all knew it would be stupid to go and steal the sword without some kind of mechanism, so Eston brought a magical artifact disguised as a teddy bear to use to get the sword. He was successful. He was the master of the sword, however, he had never found out. He was too blinded by his achievement to realize all the power he had. However, after obtaining the sword, Leland and Evan died on the spot due to mysterious circumstances. The rest of the Cleef clan put the sword in a safe place where only they would know. Each day, the three would collect the sword's power which regenerated every morning. After that, they would rest from the overwhelming power they withheld. But Conley woke up to a surprise. Istan was dead. They blamed each other for his death. What happened next? I need a break from your questions. 
Your father is gonna kill me if he finds out. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta go. Wait! I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. It was time for bed, and she went to sleep. However, all she could think about was the story. Her mum and her tutor. She wondered what the tutor said about her being killed by her father if he noticed would be true. Her father wasn't like that, surely, she thought. When the morning arrived, she waited patiently for the tutor to come so she could tell her more about the past, but she never did come. I wonder when she'll come. This kept happening. The tutor never returned to the house. There were some nights when Sally wasn't able to close her eyes. Because of the horrific thought of her tutor falling for the same fate as her mother. One day, she felt very bored. There was nothing to do. Intrigued. By the world beyond brick walls and glass windows, she had decided to escape. She had made it out of her house for the very first time. This view was much better than her bedroom windows. She finally felt peace. I can't believe my father hid all this beauty from me. He's worse than I thought. Worse than you thought, Sally? Huh. I would reconsider my words if I were you. Uh, 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 I wouldn't go if I were you. Father, I'm sorry. I didn't mean- Don't waste my time, Sally. Just come to Dad. Never! Come here! Your mother wouldn't be proud of you running away from the only family member you have! Oh yes yeah, she would! She wouldn't want me in the same house with a killer! I killed your mother because she was a killer! You killed mother. What other secrets do you have? Too many sons. After Eston faked his death, he took the sword and placed it in a secret spot where only he would know. He faked his death? Of course he did. He was supposed to be my brother, but rather he was a traitor. After hiding the sword, he went to go and find love. When he did, he found your mother the daughter of King Oswald. Soon enough, they had you. I was jealous of his success, I will admit. He was going to have a happy ending, whilst I looked from afar. If there's one thing you'll learn, jealousy can change people. Now let me show you what really happened.
After that, they would rest from the overwhelming power they withheld. But Conley woke up to a surprise. Don was dead. Just like I'll be. <laughs> I've lost everyone I love. My mom, my tutor, my father even. He's turned into a monster. I know that it's hard to accept. But I did it for you, Sally. Not for anyone else. I did it because I love you. Don't, Don't you think you need to do the same? Come on, Sally, join me together.